So this is the very special Alien 14 puzzle available at DualBrainGames.com. It comes in this packaging here, and I'm going to solve it for you today. I'm going to solve it. Uh, I've had some requests to solve this puzzle, and I understand, you know, sometimes people want to buy uh, puzzles uh, as gifts, and they want to see the solution. So if you don't want to see the solution, um, you know, in, in a minute, I'll give you I'll give you a heads up that I'm about to solve it, and um, and you can turn away, right? If you don't want to see it, comes with this little glow in the dark alien <laughs> in this packaging here, which is evidence, right? Um, apparently, these pieces were found in a, cra a UFO crash site. It's got these little stars in here as well, which uh, we'll just move away for now. And uh, here are the instructions. Um, right here, 14 geometrical pieces of unknown origin substance were said to have been found at the UFO crash site in Maje, Rio de Janeiro in 2020. Though the pieces have since mysteriously disappeared, a single photograph revealed that 13 of those pieces generate a perfect square of nearly 5 inches. And the purpose of the one extra piece is still unknown. Anyway, so there's the... Uh, sort of theme for this thing. Uh, to solve it, you make a perfect square with 13 pieces and the square is uh, nearly five inches. Um, so there's a designer's note here. Uh, you can take a look at that um, when you get it. Uh, I love the little glow in the dark alien though. It's pretty cool. So we'll leave them here. And um, that's it. You have, let me move these little stars out of the way. Um, it's just uh, makes the uh, the packaging looks nicer, you know. When you got these little uh, glitter stars, man, I'll tell you, these glitter um, stick to these glitter stars stick to everything. So let me just move them out of the way here, so we have the the 13 pieces clearly visible. And yeah, so there are 14 actually pieces, and one of them doesn't belong. In the uh, in the puzzle, right? It's a geometrical shape puzzle, um, and you're going to be putting it together. I love these pieces; they're like uh, very <laughs> interesting. Look at that; they glow. These pieces glow, right? Acrylic uh, pieces. And um, let's go ahead and solve this for you now, uh, because, like I said, the idea is to make a square. Uh, a lot of people will begin with the triangles, you know, that's not it. You got to use 13 of the 14 pieces. So th yes, that is a square, but that's not the solution. Uh, neither is this, right? It's a square. Um, so yeah, people will, you know, start trying to put the puzzle together uh, in, uh, you know, different ways. Um, you know, you got this big triangle here. What are you going to do with this? Uh, let's see, you can try something like this. This is not the actual solution. I'm just kind of playing with the puzzle a little bit. What someone might attempt to do with it. There's a little triangle, but you know, what would you fit in there, right? So this looks a bit weird. Um, yeah, you can tell uh, that that's not the solution, right? You gotta create a perfect square. So something is askew here, something is wrong. So let's say you do that. You know, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna be playing with this for a bit because uh, it's tricky. Okay, that, that fits there, all right. Let's see, maybe maybe something is going on here. Yeah, but what about this little little edge here, right? What about this little corner? There's no, no, no piece that can fill that little corner there. So okay, so that's not correct. We need like a flat here, but we don't have. Oh wait, uh, no, we don't have a piece that would be flat there. So clearly that triangle doesn't go in the center. Maybe it goes uh, here like this, and this goes here, right? Uh, and now you're looking for a piece that will go in there. Well, what could possibly go in there? This, not quite. So you're gonna be playing with the puzzle. You're gonna try to find out, um, 
which piece is left out, right? Because like I said, 13 pieces, uh, there's 14 pieces. You only use the uh, 13 to uh, create the puzzle. So let's get to the solution. Um, I had a lot of fun designing this. I wanted to uh, make this particularly tricky, uh, a bit mysterious. Uh, like I said, I love these glowing uh, pieces here. They're so cool. Um, and, um, you know, when I first designed it, you know, I did, because that's what I do when I design these puzzles. I, I put them away and I don't look at them for like three months and then I get back to them, you know. And I remember with this particular one, uh, I designed it, I worked on it for a while. And then I made a prototype of it and I didn't touch it for like two or three months. I just didn't touch it at all. And then I grabbed it and of course I forgot. I, I didn't know what the solution was because you know you got these different pieces here. I had forgotten what the solution was. I hadn't looked at it in a couple of months. So I played with it for a while. Yes, it's, it's challenging, um, but it's fun and it's attractive. So let's get to the solution. You put the square there, you put this one here. Okay, so, well, all right, well, let's see. What else, uh, what else do we need here? Um, maybe this, uh, nope. We put, where is the piece? This one, right there. You see that? That fits beautifully right there. But then, what goes there? Well, two pieces go there. We got this piece, right? Fits beautifully right there. And then uh, one of the two triangles, right? So that part is uh, slightly tricky. Now we got the top part of the puzzle done. And then let's go over here because uh, these go together, right? You see these, uh, one goes here on this side. And by the way, it's interchangeable, right? You could put this over here and this over here. So either way it will work. And then you do this. So now you see the square getting ready here. And you got these pieces left. Well, gee, how are you gonna fit this try? Maybe this is the one that's, uh, that's out, you know? Or maybe this one. Well, you will put this piece, this, you know, slightly odd shaped piece right in the middle there. Now you see what's going on, right? This uh, triangle, this gorgeous triangle, goes right here. Now you know what's happening. This goes in here. This other uh, triangle goes here, and there you have it. Perfect square, gorgeous puzzle, and the piece that's left out is this little triangle. And I've had people uh, struggle with this, and you know, uh, I think it's I think it's beautiful. I love the acrylic pieces on this. Uh, that's the solution to Alien 14. Comes with 14 pieces. Only 13 pieces are used. Let's put the little stars around here. Uh, only uh, 13 of the pieces are used for. Um, to solve the puzzle, this one is left out, which is a—it's uh, kind of neat, you know, because you got—you don't know, you don't know. You try to fit that in somehow, you know. Uh, comes with this little cute alien, and here are the uh, instructions and the uh, the packaging, like an evidence bag, right, from a UFO crash site. There you have it, Alien 14. You can get it at DualBrainGames.com. This is the solution. Enjoy, go get one.